Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm Jasmine. So dolls, welcome back. Happy New Year. I hope you have all started off your New Year sticking to your resolutions. If you didn't make any resolutions and you made vision boards, hopefully you are staying on track. This is our first video of 2023 and I I'm pretty excited about it. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure that you subscribe. Go ahead and like this video as well so that you don't forget later on while you're watching. Without any further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and get straight into the video. Disclaimer, these are the things that I use that work for me and I'm just sharing them with you guys. Hopefully you do get inspired to go out and try some of these things because they are pretty awesome in my opinion. So I'm just gonna start off with skincare, the things that I use for my face. I use this Clean and Clear Morning Burst. It has bursting beads and it has vitamin C and ginseng in it as well. Um, I like this because it also, um, it wakes me up in the morning. I do use it at night too, but it ain't waking me up. It ain't that strong with waking me up at night because I'd be ready to go to bed. But it does um, have like a refreshing feel to it. It does wake me up in the morning. I've been using this for some years now. And honestly, it also helps with brightening. So I like that as well. So I do use this to cleanse my face. And then I also use this. Alba Botanica Acne Deep Astrogent. Y'all, I got this from TJ Maxx, I believe, but um, to help with having a more clearer complexion. And it also cleans a little bit deeper after you cleanse your face. So if you wear makeup a lot, I would definitely look into getting the Astrogent because it's needed. And if you're oily, this helps with oily skin. So go get you an Astrogents. It doesn't have to be this brand. I just got this from um, TJ Maxx, but they do have one with by Clinique. I know Clinique has one. It's not that expensive either. So I use this as well. I use it with like a cotton ball and then I just like cleanse my face after I wash it. Now I don't use this every day. I probably use this like twice a week or when i a week that i wear makeup a lot i'll use this because i don't really have oily skin but i still like to use it okay so baby i don't know what my topic to this i don't know where it went but um this is the tonique um hydration hydrating toner by clinique i mean by lancome and baby when i tell you And baby, when I tell you, I love this stuff. This toner is so like hydrating and it helps even out my skin tone. It makes everything look like one color. It helps with hyperpigmentation. It does not have to be this brand of toner, but this is the toner that I'm currently using. As you can see, it's almost gone. And baby, y'all just got to excuse my nails because baby, I got thumbs left and no nails on the... <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about it. I'm gonna get a new set soon but anyway this is the toner that i use on my face i usually just do like three drops in my hand rub it together and just press it into my skin and then i press outward when i use this i usually use a moisturizer as well but i'm right now i'm out of my moisturizer the moisturizer that i normally use on a daily basis is by puns and it's the anti-aging one I like to use the anti-aging one because it's never too early to start working on your skin, like prevent, like to prevent wrinkles, lines, all that stuff. It's never, it's never too early. So that's what I usually use, but I'm out of it. And I didn't have time to go grab any before I made this video. So to replace the moisturizer that I usually use every day, I've been using this um, Aveeno Positively Radiant. It's a serum and a primer, but I'm telling you, Baby, this gonna have your skin looking so dewy and glowy and just, and it don't take a lot. Literally just one or two drops and you good to go. So that's it for my face. 
let's move on okay so for my body i use a couple of different things but i'm gonna share the things with you that i love the most that my body loves the most my skin loves um i do exfoliate i try to exfoliate at least once or twice a week to get rid of any dead skin and to just make my skin smoother so i use this sugar scrub by tree hut which i'm pretty sure everybody and their mama is familiar with this because all the girlies on tiktok be putting us on point blank period but i do use this twice a week i just use my little glove and exfoliate all over my body this leaves my skin so smooth and make sure you're exfoliating make sure you shave after you exfoliate because you're getting rid of that dead skin and then after you get rid of your dead skin you want to shave you know and then rinse but i will have a updated shower routine coming soon but i do use this to exfoliate my body and right now Baby, this is still wet. I literally just got it out of the shower. Right now, I'm using this body wash right here. This Caress um, co Cocoa Butter and Oat Milk. When I tell you, baby. Let's see. It just smells so good. Like, mm, y'all, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm obsessed with smelling good. Like, I want my shower stuff to smell good. I want my perfumes. I want my lotion. I want everything, every inch of my body to smell good. So, I use this. I'm currently stuck on this body wash right here by Caress. And I do use a loofah when I use any of my body washes. Like, I used to, like back in the day, use a rag with my body washes. But it just does not hit the same as using a loofah. So, make sure you're using a loofah when you use your body wash. And it makes your body washes last longer. Using a rag, girl, you're going to be in there trying to you know using up all your body wash to get it to lather up so it can be soapy or whatnot but if you use a loofah you literally just zoop and you're done so um this is the body wash that i'm currently using oh for deodorant right oh no it fell no all right now for deodorant i'm currently using this tom's um simply natural powder deodorant and it doesn't have any aluminum in it yeah i can really only use this in the winter time because in the summertime baby baby still baby be musty musty but it's winter time right now so i can use this and it works just fine um it has like a, a really soft it smells like baby powder and it does go on a little wet but it does dry down so it is a powder but it don't feel like it when you're first putting it on but it doesn't have any aluminum in it and yeah i can't really speak against aluminum and all that because i do still wear deodorant that got aluminum in it but i do try to give my armpits a little break sometimes in the winter time and switch over to this so this is the deodorant that i use so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you I went on, I was very influenced by the girlies on TikTok, as we all are. And I went on when I bought this Dr. Teal's oil that y'all keep ramping and raving about and just, girl, acting like it need to be part of every routine. Now, mind you, I do use the oil already. Y'all already see all the time I always use my honey oil by um, Bath & Body Works. But, you know, she, 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 she was getting a little low. So, I said, you know what, let me, let me just go try something new. Let me just go try something new and see what it do. So, I tried this Dr. Till's Moisturizing Bath and Body Oil. I got the coconut kind. And, baby, let me tell you. Now, I don't use this every day. I usually only use this, um, like, if my shoulders are going to be out, if my legs are going to be showing, or if I'm doing, like, a self-care night and I just want that extra, you know. Mm, or, you know, <laughs> when my man is coming over, you know, I got to keep the skin right. Right. Got to be soft, you know. But, you know, we're going to make another video and we're going to get into that too. But I like, I like it so far. I've used it probably two times and it works really, really well. It pairs really nice with any body lotion that you're using and a perfume. Y'all already know I love to spray on a little perfume on top of these oils. It makes your perfumes last longer. So, yeah. 
Now, ladies, I know we all have this issue, this problem, honey. You know, in between pedicures, your feet, your feet, they be getting crusty. They really do. At least it's mine do. So, I'm going to always keep me one of these. I don't know the name of it. Something, something stone. Girl, I don't know. I got this from Walmart. But I also have one that I keep in the shower as well. But it's like a handheld one. Listen, I ain't going to lie. I used to walk around with some crusty, dusty feet. But, you know, now that I'm just, you know, becoming a woman and just embracing womanhood and femininity, I've, I'm learning to take care, better care of myself. So, I love these, y'all. Like, every night or every other night when I'm in the shower, I just hit the bottom of them feet, baby. Hit the bottom of them feet. Hit them real good. Because, you know. I mean, you know, when you in the bed, you rubbing your feet together or when your boo over, y'all doing Netflix and chill. Don't nobody want no, no crusty, dusty feet rubbing up against them. And if you ain't got a boo, it's okay. You don't want your own crusty, dusty feet rubbing up against yourself and snagging your sheets. So get you one of these. <laughs> get you one of these, sis. It works so, 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 so well. And I usually do a foot mask as well, but... When I went to Walmart, I couldn't find any, but I will try to leave like a, a link down below so where you can go and purchase a foot mask. Those work wonders, wonders. If you want your feet to be smooth like booty, baby booty, newborn baby booty, get you a foot mask. Moving on to my last, last part. You know, you got to say the best for last. So this last part, baby, we're going to get ready to talk about it. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. So actually, I'm going to be showing y'all what I use and what I do to keep my lady parts smelling good, smelling fresh. <sighs> yeah. So a little backstory about the boom, boom. Okay, so when I was a teenager and like just a young, young adult, I knew about cleaning my lady parts, but I wasn't educated about cleaning my lady parts. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's a difference. So, now, the soap that I use on my lady parts down there, I use the Dove Sensitive Skin Unscented Bar Soap. I don't have a fresh bar. I actually just opened up my last bar. So, um, it's in a tub, but... I'm not going to bring y'all a bar of soap that I'm, I already done opened up and been using. I tried to remember to keep the packaging because I kept saying, okay, this is my last bar of soap. But it's okay. Dove Sensitive Skin Unscented Bar Soap. That is the only soap that I put down there and back there. Now, I used to, I ain't going to lie, I used to be like, unscented, like, uh-uh, I need me something with some fragrance, you know, so I can, she could be smelling good, da, 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 da. Now, that's what I used to do back in the day before I got educated and knew better. Baby, don't, don't put nothing with no fragrance down there. Now, to each his own, everybody pocketbook, poom poom, is different. But mine, she don't do well with fragrance. So, I went completely unscented. And at first, I kept saying, this is not gonna work. Like, baby, she gonna be, no, this ain't it. But baby, when I tell you, first you clean. <laughs> but I also use, now I also use a feminine wash. I know some ladies don't use feminine washes. They just use soap or whatever they do. And that works for them. And that's fine. But what's, what works for me is, baby, I use a feminine wash after I use my soap. So the feminine wash that I use is this Monistat Maintain Feminine Cleanser. And it has boric acid in it. So, it's fragrance-free. So, it doesn't have, like, no fragrance smell to it at all, honestly. It just smells fresh, but it ain't got, like, no loud scent to it. So, this is by Monistat. And I know y'all probably thinking Monistat, that's for, like, a yeast infection. But, baby, no. This, this is not for a yeast infection, but we can get into that oh, if y'all mature enough to even talk about it but this is a feminine wash and this is what i use y'all i am about to get a little bit more bit more personal because 
I mean, baby, this is a feminine hygiene video. Like, if you're going to talk about it, let's be real about it. So, when I use this, I use my hands. Now, I used to use a rag, but I feel like it works better when I just use my hands. Now, I don't put this up in me no more. This is just for the outside. So, I put this in my hand. I let it lather up. And then, I wash my lady parts front and back. So, that's what I do to keep her fresh and clean, baby. And... After I use my feminine wash, I shower. Once I get out, I use a clean towel to dry off everywhere. Um, make sure that you always use a clean towel, y'all. Not one that you keep using it over and over. When you dry off down there, you do need to use a clean towel. Now, some people don't use a towel down there. You know, you let it air dry, you do your thing. If that's what works for you, then keep on doing it. But I'm finna tell you what works for me. So that you can try it just to see if it works for you. But I use a clean towel now. I take the towel. I take the towel. I put it down there. And I also take the back of the towel and, and I put it in my booty. Because it be wet back there too. Y'all need to start drying off front and back. So I put, put it down there and loop it around to the back so it's like. You know them little horses you used to have when you was a kid and you used to ride them like this? That's how I do my towel, like it. So, I actually leave the towel there so that it can absorb the moisture that's down there and back there. While I'm putting on my lotion and doing my body care, I leave the towel there. So, once I'm done putting on all my lotion, doing my skincare routine and whatnot, whatnot, after I'm done with all of that, I remove the towel. So by the time I remove the towel, it's just completely dry down there and back there. You know, moisture creates odor. Um, and yeah, you just want it to be dry down there. You don't really want it to be all wet, you know? So that's what I do. And when I tell you, baby, no scent. Don't run. Don't, don't run. Don't think you run up on me, boo. Ain't no scent, boo. And to maintain the freshness throughout the day, I use these Kotex um, Security Light Days. Now, I already opened these because I just got to have them. It's, it's just I got to have them, point blank, period. So, I use these panty liners. And, y'all, I love these panty liners so much. They don't move throughout the day. They're not all bent up and crinkling up in your panties like a toothpick. Like, they stay in place. You know, it's just this, about this long. You know, enough to cover the, the pocketbook, the poom poom. And, yeah. So, that's what I use to keep my freshness throughout, to, throughout the day. And you make sure you're changing these throughout the day. Um, and another tip, ladies, which I've already shared this with y'all in like a past video. Bleach your panties. I don't really care what you say. Maybe I'm old school. Maybe that's just how I was raised or whatever. But bleach your panties. I'm telling you, if you bleach your panties and wear a panty liner and follow the steps that I just told you, baby, you're going to be fresh for a long time. Now, I ain't saying, oh, my God, you ain't going to smell like nothing. But you're not going to be funky. Nah, you ain't going to be funky. But. You will remain fresh. You will feel confident. And you will feel beautiful. You know? So, yeah. So, that's what I use to keep her together, honey. Oh, and drink water. Where's my water? Let me go get my water. And lastly, ladies, please make sure you're drinking your water. Make sure you're drinking your water. If you go to the bathroom and your pee is yellow, like yellow and it's strong... Baby, you need some water. And matter of fact, go get you some cranberry juice too. You know? Well, it's you should drink cranberry juice on a regular. Um, I do like to throw that in my routine here and there. I don't have any today to show you guys. But make sure it's 100% cranberry juice. Not cranberry cocktail. Cranberry juice. 
and a lot of this stuff i learned from my gynecologist all of you ladies hopefully that are watching you hopefully you do have like your own personal gynecologist that you can ask questions and you know share your concerns with because everybody is different you know everybody every woman is different but for the most part all of our bodies go through some of the same things so make sure you're staying hydrated and you're drinking your water so it can smell good down there and when you're taking a little tinkle you know you don't want nobody coming in the bathroom after you like shawty <laughs> shawty just ordered that fresh fish filet <laughs> like no you don't want nobody saying that about you girl and to leave off i just want to say make sure that you are staying aware you know ladies you know, we can smell ourselves before anybody smells us. So make sure that you're being aware of how you're smelling and just take better care of your lady parts. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty much wraps up this video. Um, if you haven't already liked this video, please like this video. And please make sure that you are subscribed to this channel. This is our first video of 2023 and we have so much more in store. I'm excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to be dedicating myself and working really hard this year for you dolls and for myself. But yeah, <clears throat> we got to go get our nails done soon, baby. Because, baby, this is not it. This is not what I was trying to give, but it don't matter because, baby, the video had to come on. Come on and get out. But anyway, I love y'all. And until next time, 